Hey, we're looking at uh, congruencies number two. Which of the following triangles can, is congruent to Q, R, and S? So here we have Q, R, and S, and three other triangles, and we want to know which one of these is congruent to that one right there. So I'll remind you of the three proofs that we could use or the three conditions that would allow me to say that these triangles are congruent. If they have side, 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 all, th all three of the same sides, we can say they're congruent. If they have side, angle, side, so two matching sides with an angle in between, or if they have uh, angle, side, angle, two known angles with a matching side in between. And those will be minimum conditions for saying that the triangles are congruent. So I have three known sides on my QRS. So SSS, I'm gonna take a look. The problem here is that for triangle A, I don't have all three sides. And for triangle B, although I have three sides, you can see that they don't match. Um, I have a 26, a 19, and a 17, 26, a 19, and a 21. So angle B, according to side, 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 has been eliminated. And angle C, I don't have three known sides. So that's it for my proof for side, side, side. I can't, I can't establish which of these two is congruent with, side, with QRS because I don't have three sides on these two. And this guy was different, so he's kicked out, helped me a little bit, but not enough. Angle side angle, um, you know, I have one angle here um, in QR and S. I don't have two. And in order to use angle side angle, you need to have two known angles. I don't have it, so I can't use angle side angle, which means I'm now looking at side angle side to determine which of these two matches this one. Well, take a look at that angle that you know, angle S over here, and you can see it over here as well, and you can see it over here on this one. And you can see that S is made up of a 19 and a 26. So angle S is formed by the two sides, tw uh, 26 and 19. Um, over here, if you look at triangle A, it's formed by a 26, but it's formed by a 26 and a 21. Not a 26 and a 19, right? The 21 is opposite over here. It doesn't, doesn't factor, factor into uh, side angle side. Whereas if you look at this one, you can see 19 and 26 forming that angle, just like you have over here, 19 and 26 forming this angle. So here's your congruent one. Your answer is C, and the reason is because of the side angle side proof.